Mr. Hayes, there are several things I want to ask you about. What's the story about this record, first of all? Oh, you heard about that? Yeah, you know, I'm not only a great wrestler, I got a record coming out, I'll be a big superstar in that, but that's not what I'm concerned with right now. What I'm doing, as everybody can see, is I'm training real hard for my big, easy match and reunion Thanksgiving night. All right. Now, I want to ask you about that, but first, before we get to that, I know you had to be shocked at this brutal situation that happened last week involving Gorgeous Jim Garvin and his lady. Uh, yeah, uh, Jimmy, uh, you know, Jimmy was... Hey, shut up when I'm talking! Now, if you're going to ask me to come out here for an interview, these people are going to shut up when I talk! Uh, Jimmy Garvin was close to me, still is close to me, He's got women trouble. All I know is that broad, I ain't got nothing against her, but she cost me money last week when she cost Jimmy Garvin to lose the match. Listen to the cheers. <laughs> Regardless of the situation, when she went to spraying that stuff in his eyes, man, she could have blinded him or something. Yes, indeed. What, you like that? Are you sick or what? Well, anyway, that ain't none of my business, man. Because, see, me and my brothers take care of our business. We don't have no internal trouble. And we ain't gonna have no trouble at all come Thanksgiving night, baby. Because Fantasia has got the deck stacked. That's right, I got the deck stacked. And I don't care any way that I can... Now, can you imagine any way that I can win? Do you know how many ways I can think to beat you up, you stupid punk? And there must be a winner. That's it's right. win any way you can. The loser must not wrestle for a year. That's right. I want to clarify that one more time, punk. I know that you live here. But you need to know that you're not going to be able to wrestle here. After... Oh, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. It's about time. It's about time. Hey, this is my, hey, wait a minute. This is my interview. What are you doing here? You don't see the wait later in the show, but what I have to say is about Michael Hayes, so I might as well say it to Michael Hayes. You know, it's a real odd thing, Mr. Hayes. You mentioned remarks before about where is Papa Fritz? Yeah. All this time, partner, everything you've done, everything you've said, I've heard all about. So you've made some remarks in the past about when is Papa Fritz going to be here. Papa Fritz is here. Now let's get some things straight. Now just who do you think you are? You keep calling Carrie stupid. Before I get done enlightening you, pal, you're the one that's going to be stupid. For the record, I would advise you to listen to me and listen very, very carefully. Well, then get it out. Now this match that you dreamed up <laughs> and Carrie accepted. Yeah, the one that's going to send him home to you. here that seen you and Kerry Russell, including you, knows that Kerry could really beat you in a straight match with one hand tied behind him. So for you to come out and make a challenge like that, to jeopardize your livelihood by you offering, if you lose the match, to leave Texas and not wrestle there for one full year. That's right. Same with Kerry. That's right. Means, partner, you've got a whole bunch up your sleeve. That's right. Well, let's just see if we can take care of some of that. I just left matchmaker Ed Watt. Now, the stipulations, I understand them now, is that you and my son, Kerry, will be in a match where there must be a winner. Also, anything goes. In other words, the best man is to walk out of the ring. Meanwhile, you're thinking about your baby brothers. You call yourselves the free birds. Should be the bird brains. The whole time, the whole time, you overlooked a couple of things. 
you got Papa sitting back there reading the stipulations. As of now, friend, by matchmaker Ed what? It'll be a match with anything goes. Good. It'll be a match where there must be a winner. Good. In addition to that, there'll be a steel cage around the ring. What? What? Who had a dagger no steel cage? That ain't all. There's more. You're gonna love this. It appears to me that I recall back at Christmas Star Wars at Reunion, someone named Michael Hayes suggested someone should be the gatekeeper. Someone should be the, have the key to the gate. Well, guess who's gonna have the key to that gate that night? You, me. You ain't got no right in this, man. You not stuck your nose in somebody's business, you shouldn't have. Now you had a whole year to come out and... That's Terry Gordy. Like you before and take him to the woodshed. Yeah, well, you're you going to have to it again. And I'll put it to you real simple, baby. I'm still going to beat that stupid kid of yours. So what are you going to do about it? Well, to start with, how about... Oh, boy, look out. Oh, no, it's the spike. The spike, but thank goodness, here comes Kerry and David. And the Oriental Spike by the Freebirds has been thwarted. We'll be back to talk more about this, but let's get away for now.